Good morning, everyone. This is Enix back with yet another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. Now then, it is a oh, bright new day, and with every all bright new days, it's time to do something new and exciting, or rather terrifying, rather. I'm doing it. I'm switching over to mouse and keyboard because... I want to try it. I'm. I want to. I have been with um, keyboard and mouse for a not keyboard and mouse controller for almost the entire game. And considering I'm playing a fairly low level character on a new PC, I think. Uh, I think I need to get used to this kind of thing. Huh. All right. So for this first part, I'm going to try and figure out these, there we go, controls and adjust it. So for the time, for, I'm going to montage it a little bit to try and get me my perfect settings so that I can run around all willy-nilly in comfort.
All right, everyone. Welcome back. Sorry about that. I have noticeably uh, changed my setup a little. And by a little, I mean a lot. Oh boy. Now, I'm using ESDF, ESDF, to move around. Got my thing, and I got all my uh, keys set here so that everything should be easy for me to reach and I can always keep my hand on home row. I, I am not familiar with key binding. I do not know how to key bind. I never claim to. Um, hopefully this will work out though. If anything, we'll mess around with this as we go through Limsa. Alright, let's see. Now then. We had... High Society. Okay, that's up in the Marauder's Guild. So, if we do this, and let me try this. Oh, no, not, not that. There we go. I hear that, um, come Stormblood, uh, Sprint is gonna cost no more TP, which I hope is gonna be the case. I cannot tell you how many times as a healer that Sprint has saved my bacon from running out of an AoE, and I hope the same can be said about all other classes. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, talking to Reiner. I am sure you understand just how un uh, unusual it is for the Admiral to invite an adventurer to a state banquet. It is highly, uh, it is a highly covert, coveted, uh, honor. Why, even the officers under her direct command are rarely offered such recognition. But I will not deny you, deny you have earned it. Many of the tasks you have performed in the service of the, to the theocracy have been both difficult and dangerous. This is a reward for you, for all your efforts. A nod to your many achievements, both large and small. Has the, uh, has the enormity of this moment yet to sink in? Perchance you will realize its uh, significance when you stand before it, the assembled dignities of, uh, dignitaries of Limsa Lamensa. And now that I have imagined the scene, I realize you will require a tower Rasuba for the occasion. I suggest you visit the wench and see that Barebone, uh, see what Barebone can arrange. He is surprisingly knowledgeable, knowledgeable about such things. All right. From last episode, we had just uh, been uh, greeted by our admiral, uh, Merwood Blohistswin, and she honored us for helping uh, Swift Perch against the attack. Now we are going to be attending a banquet in our own honor and we need to look proper personally i like our armor as it is but uh the uh what's um, what's to say um the uh reiner the uh common a uh, common door oh thinks otherwise all right barabon what do you have for us well, well, if it isn't uh, um, Merlewib's guests of honor. Uh, Nobbinin with the I am mighty now, are you? Now, is it? I'll tell you, lad, I'm damn near uh, snorted ale out my nose when I heard the news. You've come a bloody long way, and you have. And, and yeah, you've come a bloody long way, and you have, and that's the truth. Well, one thing's for sure you'll not want uh, for a decent grub. These banquets are catered by the bleeding Bismarck, no less. Tis a grand chance to fill your belly f to burst in with fine iron, f fine and uh, more importantly, free food. But we can't have you uh, turning in in your shit-covered adventures, Gerard. No, and ears in the in no the hero of the hour needs to have a touch of refinement about him. If only uh, to stop folks complaining when he, he stuffs his face with cake. Take yourself over to the Octant and speak with the Jinyazin of the uh, Burzen Carnesium. 
She'll furnish you with some gentlemanly to wear. I've already had a word with her, so you need to do is pick up the goods, then bring them back here so I can tell you what's what. Alrighty. So, we need to head over to the Octant. Octant. Ah, I see. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so, the event's already ended. I... As I w it wasn't fun for me to rush the game, so I decided to take a little bit of a break. So, unfortunately, we will not be seeing the event. I actually was kind of curious to myself what was happening, but... Eh. Not everyone can catch all the events. It is a uh, fact of life. Alright. So she has our... Gentlemanly garments. Good day, sir. I assume that you... You're the underdressed gentleman Barabon mentioned. Sniff. I can see uh, he's not... He was not exaggerating. I look fabulous, thank you. Ahem. I have chosen these especially for your debut to, uh, in polite society. Fear not, I am certain you will absolutely adore them. Alright. So, we have just been given... Let's see... Let's see. Oh, we don't have them quite yet. Let's head back to the, uh... Half Castle then. Alright. <laughs> I'm running with a buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Alrighty. Been to see a genie on the have you? Let's have that box then. Alright. Here we go. A nice old pair of dress shoes for you. A bloke might have, have much else to his name, but as long as he's got a decent pair of shoes on his feet, there ain't nowhere he can't go. Think of him as a gift from me for all uh, and all the other folks you've done right al by along the way. Aye, aye. Tis very moving gesture, I know. Just don't go welling up on me. Eh, wouldn't w do for uh, Lemons' new hero to turn up to the bank when soaked in his own tears and snot. Any road. That's your, uh, gra garb sorted. Now you just need to settle your nerves. Tell me when you're ready and I'll tell you where you're meant to go. Alright. You're ready to go, uh, where you're, you're ready then, are you? Good, the banquets will be starting soon. If you're waiting any longer, I, I'd have, uh, considered me, it me civil duty, uh, to head over the head to to eat you over the head and drag your drag you there. Now make sure you're wearing them fancy shoes when you turn up, right? Carrying them won't do you no good. They're meant to make you look like a gentleman. Remember, not a gentleman's bleeding lackey. And for directions, the feast is being held on the bridge in the Admiral's briefing room. Speak with uh, the Bismarck uh, Bulwark Hall, and he'll show you the way. Uh, just keep in, uh, keep that head held eye, lad. After everything you've done for Limsa, you've a good reason to be proud. And don't, uh, let no, n uh, eye-born bugger tell you different. Alrighty. So, we have our brand new, sh uh, shoes. We can just go into, I see, armory chest is that one. Go to shoes, and we'll equip these bad boys. Perfect. Oop. Didn't mean to click on you, good sir. Alright, left attendant. We're gonna head over to the Bullmark Hall. Alright. And there it is. With these shoes on our feet. Actually, does it, we, we don't clean up bad. Dress shoes, fancy dress shoes, an adventure wearing fancy dress shoes. Oh, now those are some fancy dress shoes. Come adventure, I will show you to the briefing room. 
Perfect. Brothers and sisters of the sea, join me now in honoring this man for his services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect him on his journey till sea swallows all. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the Fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. Oh, I found this. This is one of the Crystals of Light. By the Navigator. After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not, of a towering crystal? I did. You bathed in her light. Yashtola's conclusion is clear and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the Mother Crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations, as once did the deeds of the Warriors of Light. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands, yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the primals. When the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. Yet whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks.
games to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. Go down so easily! Eyes forward! We are being watched. Bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! <laughs> Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! The seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swan. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soir. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat, and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order! All flames are to withdraw! I don't care if our late cells are useless! You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk the massacre. The 
this dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Luiswa. To your positions. Morning, sunshine. All bit much for you, was it? Ugh. What happened? I don't remember then. You kneeled over in the middle of the banquet and caused the right stir. I had to carry you back to the wench myself. Well, I said carry. It was more of a matter of dragging and rolling. Too much cake, I recommend. Any road, don't fret. This tis a little wonder you was exhausted after everything. You've uh, been through late. Uh, tis little wonder you've been exhausted after everything you've been through lately. Your little nap seems to have put some color back in your cheeks, though. So I'll be leaving it to you. Bugger, I almost forgot. The Admiral wants to have a word with ye. When you feel where you feel up to it, talk to Zenithiel, and it, he'll uh, let you to the command room. Oh, and stay awake, eh? I'm told old Merylweb was in the middle of telling ye a story when ye started snoring last time, and I doubt she looked kindly on it if ye repeated the trick. then it's time to head out of our in room a second time now uh, remember that we uh, have a very special power our main character and we uh, will be explained about it in due time however I just want to put into perspective the uh, uh, Square Enix is first launch of Final Fantasy 14 was pretty bad, to say the least. It was... A Rogadin had the same amount of uh, pixels as a pot plant. Games would crash almost all the time. It was... It, unpolished would be a light way to put it. It was bad. And so, in order to overhaul the game, shut it down, fix it, and make it the wonderful game that it is now, they had they decided to instead of just shutting down the servers they decided to essentially bring about like an armageddon on the world via the bahamut and uh, when they say warriors of light they mean 1.0 players greetings enixa admiral below Histwin awaits you in the command room shall i announce you yes All right. Ah, Inexa, it is good to see you on your feet again. You are recovered. Then let us waste no time. I have a task that needs doing. 
One I would entrust to no other. Alright, what is this task that you have for us? The duty I have in mind for you requires some explanation. I do hope you have not made other plans. To business then. An Olympian envoy. I have penned a letter to each of my counterparts in the Orzian Alliance. The Battle of Cartano and the Calamity that followed claimed countless lives. It has been five years since those who, uh, those of us who spared, uh, who were spared, dragged ourselves from the ashes to look upon an Eorzea we scarcely knew. Five years, and yet the people still suffer. Their lives are fraught with worry and hardship, and the warriors of light, who m m might once have given them hope, are gone. Yet, we must press on regardless. We will never truly do so, however, till we have faced our past. To that end, I am proposing that a memorial service to be held in each of the city-states on the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Karsno. These letters contain the details of said proposal. And I would have you deliver them to our allies as my personal envoy. You have proven yourself a stout and uh, an able ally of Tilaminsa, but that is not my only reason for choosing you. No, I choose you because you possess a quality which puts m me in the mind of history's a quality which puts me in mind of history's champions. A quality I fear lost. Say that you will perform this duty. Say that you will perform this duty. Yes, of course. I knew you would not disappoint me. This task shall take you far from the borders of our nation, to city-states of Gridania and Ulda. A grueling journey, it be sure, were you to travel by sea and land, but I mean to have you take to the skies. An airship pass, to be used at your discretion. Airships bound for nations of our allies leave from the landing con connecting to the bridge. But before you depart, I suggest you trouble Berberia Berberon for a few pearls of wisdom regarding each of your destinations. The old bastard is nothing if not well-traveled. Tis a pity I cannot issue such passes with a freer hand as I did in more peaceful times, when Barrett births were not so limited. But in these times of war, every craft we commit to the clouds risks drawing the eye of the Empire, and every voyage must need be born of necessity. Lest you doubt, I consider your place well deserved. Nor am I alone in that opinion. There were other parties who would see you granted the privilege to, of air travel. Aye, Inixa, your deeds do not go unnoticed. Full many see great promise in you, but I have flaunted you enough. On behalf of Limsa and her people, I bid you go forth, adventurer. Discover the realm for which so many have fought and died. Wonder and danger await you in equal measure, but turn not from either. Only by braving the unknown will you achieve the greatness of which you are surely capable. The light of the crystal guides you, and I wager that your destiny will be no m small thing. Alright, Marilyn Boheswin, thank you so much for this honor. We have just been given the privilege of using airships to travel to the other towns and let's see here oh right we should go see Baraba uh Bernand but we have been given the right to travel to other lands where in in due time we will be able to accept 
different classes and um, gathering and uh, trade crafts as well. All right, Oops, jump. Burn end. I'm back from your meeting with the animal, are you? Yes, it was great. Blood and personal bleeding envoy. So you'll be carrying the word of the Admiral to the leaders of the uh, Alliance? Bugger me. I knew he was going up in the world, but I didn't realize you got that bloody eye. I'm proud of you, lad. Thinking of how far you come. Why, tis enough to bring a tear to my eye. And that ain't the ale talking, neither. Well, not just the ale at the any rate. Bless the navigator for steering you my way. Of course, this is only the start. Now you've got your hands on the airship pass, the uh, all of yours is laid out before ye, like a, ma a fair maiden on a feather bed. And she's a, a big girl too, with plenty of enticing nooks and crannies. If you're thinking of Les Lemire, uh, if you think us Lamincians are characters. Just wait till you cross paths with the grim forest dwellers of Gridania, or the trade uh, coin with the crafty merchants of Ulda. And then there's the uh, wild places where the beasties rule, and no bugger with an ounce of sense sets foot. But you're an adventurer, so I won't let a little thing like that hold you back. Of course, it ain't all exploring and incitement. There's an heap of trouble with pl uh, what plagues every nation, see? Ain't just ours. I'm talking intrig in intrigue and infighting beastmen and their goddamn primals. Aye, there's an ugly side to life, and sooner or later, you're bound to walk into it. But I'll wager there's bugger all out there that you can't handle. Summit tells me you're going to be just fine. The realms add it rough, tis true, but folks beginning to recover from the beating the calamity dealt them. Call me an hopeless optimist, but it wouldn't take much to turn things around. Tis the perfect time for your venture like yourself to get out there and make a na make a difference. Well. What are you waiting for? Uh, thank you, Beard Mom. I'll I'll be sure to be safe. I will be a good boy and eat all of my veggie tubbles. I realize I just went to the uh, Bulwark Hall, but I can literally just head up to the airship landing. I goofed a little. Alright, turn it back around, I'll talk to you, and we'll head for the airship landing. Alright. Hello, fellow newbie. Alrighty. Greetings, sir. This is the uh, counter for passengers traveling to Gridania. Wait, aren't you that famous adventurer? It's Nixafo, isn't it? I thought I recognized you. You are the, an inspiration to us all, sir. High Wind uh, Skyways is at your disposal. Will you be traveling with us today? I will. Thank you. Alrighty. Yes. A 
Attention all passengers, the airship's bound for Gridania is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Fortune to you, Enixa. They'll come when your name means the same as Eero to folks of this realm. May we walk in the light of the crystal. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning. Rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign. 
and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Ah, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Otha, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. Gridania. Finally here. All right. Oh. Finally. Ah, you must be the envoy from Limslaminsa. Welcome to Gridania, sir. The Elder Seed Seer waits for your arrival. Yes. Perfect. Now, before we do anything else, can I, can I, can I, can I, yes, can head up here and attune myself to the crystal at the center of the town. So, Gridania is where we would have started had we chosen to be a lancer, a conjurer, or an archer. Perfect. <laughs> we have been pet. We must reciprocate. Ah! Uh, you run from me. Let me click you. Ah! Uh, you, you run too much. I will click on you. I will. I will click on you. There we go. Slash pet. Nice. I have done it. Alright then. Oh, and we have a chocobo port. Perfect. We've been registered. <coughs> 
Now then, that was a fairly long episode. Plenty of story and lengthy cutscenes. It's already been about one hour since I started this recording. So, that being said, I think we're gonna call it right here. Thank you everyone for joining me in another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. Now then. Let's see how to do this. Emotes. Oh, that's the one. Alright everyone, have a good day. And I will see everyone, el everyone in due time.